Now, Pittsburgh's best sports show is about to begin. Call us or tweet us. we got things to talk about on the Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Call. All right, thanks, Susan, and thank you for tuning in to the Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Call. I'm Rich Walsh, give me a call. 412-575-2600 is the number. We're taking your phone calls. We're taking your tweets. You can also tweet me, at Richie Walsh. We're talking about the Steelers. I just got back late last night in from Green Bay after the Steelers lose 51-34 most ever points scored against the Steelers in preseason history. It happened last night, and it didn't help that Mason Rudolph threw a pick six and then Josh Dobbs threw a pick six. That's 14 points right there. Uh, but both guys, I talked to both guys in the locker room, both felt like they played pretty well after that. They settled down. Um, I think that they, they portrayed it. They were pretty happy with the way they played. Now, if you listen to Tomlin at halftime, it didn't sound like he was too pleased with Mason Rudolph at high, halftime. I uh, think you have to be a little bit more decisive. Uh, but this is his first start. And, you know, maybe he got the bad one out of the way. I mean, the good thing is he responded. And Josh Dobbs liked how he responded. Both guys talked about responding after making two huge mistakes. And you'll hear from both guys coming up on KDK TV at 11 o'clock. Also, Bud Dupree, I talked to him. I have an interview with him coming up on KDK tonight. And he talked about moving to the other side. And now he's on the blind side of most quarterbacks. And it looked like it worked out there with he had a sack. And he's hoping. He, he's a few different things he said he, he, with the hands and the uh, the arms and, you know, a couple different things that he was talking about that he had to change and get used to. But it seems that that could work for Bud Dupree. They're counting on this guy. They need a playmaker on defense, and that's the one thing that I was trying to figure out. You know, the defense didn't look great. But, hey, they had, what, four starters out, handful of guys out, not playing. That makes a huge difference. But guys got to be able to tackle. I've, I saw uh, Artie Burns missed a couple tackles. Morgan Burnett missed a couple tackles. Um, guys were missing tackles. But – you got to figure, you know, I guess the theme was like when I was talking to these guys in the locker room that they, that it's just preseason. They're going to start working on things. This doesn't really mean anything. Uh, they want to see what the young guys can do. I think some of the young guys impressed yesterday, but there were some young guys that, di that didn't do much. Um, one of the young guys that I thought had a really good game was James Washington. Um, and, he, and he talked about, you know, learning from Antonio Brown how to catch balls how to catch in traffic. I mean, he's already explosive. And, you know, I think that he really has proven he's taken a, uh, you know, a big step from off season to training camp from game one to game two. And he's making improvements. And I think he's really starting to prove that he's the real deal out there. And I don't think the Steelers are going to have a problem replacing Martavis Bryant between him and Juju. Uh, I think they're still going to have an explosive offense, maybe more explosive than even last year. Um, Washington proves that he can catch, and I'm sure he's a much better uh, pass catcher than Martavis Bryant. Martavis Bryant would drop half the balls that were thrown to him. So I think James Washington, when he gets a, a little more confidence, and, and he talked about that, having more confidence with every game, every time he's out there, you know, you just think about it, your job at home or, or what you do. I mean, when you first started thinking about how much more confident you are. And that's the same thing with these guys. You know, they go from, you know, a little nervous, trying to figure out the NFL. Guys are faster. Um, they're stronger. It's a different game. And now they're trying to figure it out. James Washington looks like he has it almost figured out. So I'm anxious to see what these guys can do in game three. Game three is the one that replicates, most replicates a regular season game. Um, you're going to see all the starters, majority of the starters play uh, at least the first quarter. Uh, ben Roethlisberger is going to play. Antonio Brown is going to play. They're not going to give up much. They're not going to do much game planning, but they're going to treat it almost like a regular season game. That's the biggest test for the Steelers to see what they can actually do with the first team offense and the first team defense. And I want to see what a guy like James Washington can do out there. Now, I would like to hear what you guys think. I mean, what do you do with this quarterback situation? That seems to be the hot button topic right now. Um, you have four good quarterbacks. Do you keep Landry Jones as your backup quarterback or you try to um, go with the Mason Rudolph and Josh Dobbs? I have an opinion, um, and I'd like to give it to you after the break, I think. And I'll tell you what I think the Steelers are going to do. So 412-575-2600. Right now, the battle in Buckos are losing one nothing. Um, can't seem to get any timely hits out there. 
Um, so they're losing again. This could be their fifth straight loss if they go on to lose. It's one nothing in the seventh inning if you are paying attention. Bucko fever. It's not spreading anymore. All right, back with your phone calls and your tweets. Coming up next, stay right there.